Hi, as the founder of Fighting 50, I find that we get a lot of emails from people about menopause. Uh, concerns so many people, the phases of menopause, um, what you're going through, what to expect, how long it will last. And I'm joined here today by Jane Atherton. And if anybody's an expert on menopause, Jane is. Jane, how did you first get involved with helping women with their menopause? Well, um, my background is actually in um, skin care and uh, clinical nutrition. And I was running a clinic in Hong Kong where um, it just so happened that the majority of my ladies were menopausal. So I sort of automatically went down the route of advising them on diet and skincare for, for that age group. Which is so important, isn't it, during menopause? I think mm, you know, if you're not treating yourself within, you're really not yeah. going to feel the benefit, are you? Yeah. I mean, there's so much of your body is linked with Definitely. your diet. And you need to, I mean, your body's changing, your metabolism's changing, and you need to look at your diet as you do, I mean, you're entering a new phase of life. Basically, so you need to look at everything. You need to look at diet, lifestyle, exercise routine needs to change, skincare needs to change. Should we um, should we be looking to um, change that whole notion of um, where people say that um, you know if phase is such a, a nicer word than change, isn't it? Because you don't you don't change as a person physically. Right. You, you change yeah. and things are happening in your body, but it's the same as puberty in a way, isn't it? Mm. That your body is reacting to that stage of your life. It is, but it's also a good time to, I and mean, you've probably been living your life the same way for the past 20, 30 years. You've been doing the same thing, buying the same food, yeah. you know, and it's a really great time to um, just reevaluate. Rediscover yourself, because I think through, well, certainly for me, through my 20s and 30s and I suppose really early 40s mm. my entire focus was on my family it was yeah. on the children it was everything that was happening with them yeah. and then suddenly in your mid 40s um, you start to look at yourself and you think okay now it's time to really work on me yeah, yeah absolutely and you do and you need to put yourself first you've, you've been there for everybody else all of your life and it's really important now to actually focus on yourself and just Look at what you want to do, do things that you enjoy, and, and get out there and start living your life for you. How important do you think it is then, through your, your, your late 30s, early 40s, mm. to really lay the foundations for, you know, knowing that you're going to go through menopause, and a lot of people will be then experience perimenopause, mm. how important is it to really start laying foundation? Can you do anything well, early on? Unfortunately, that because we are so ill-advised, not educated on menopause, I mean, we don't. Have oh, we don't talk about it. We don't do talk we? about it. We yeah. don't know. We know it's going to. If men had it, we'd talk about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, <laughs> well, definitely, all the while. But we don't. You know, it's just something that we know that's going to happen in the future. We've got no idea when. We've got no idea what's going to happen. We've all heard of hot flushes. You know, but apart from that, we just sort of attempt to arrive at menopause. But is it because we're all so different? Is it because Every woman's menopause is very different, so it's, it's a very hard. individual journey. But you know, you can actually hormones can start fluctuating as early as thirty-five mm -hmm. and minded. But the thing is, you don't connect it to menopause at that age. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, just have probably a glass too many wine, or you know, you, you, if you have a hot flush, you don't think, oh my god, this is menopause mm -hmm. at thirty-five. For goodness mm -hmm. sake, you don't. Well, I know at thirty-six, I had a, a blood screen, and the gynaecologist said to me, "If I didn't know you, I would think you're a woman going through menopause." Right. And at the time, I didn't really take much notice, mm. and I just went, oh, okay, you know, and okay. carried on. I didn't really take on board that maybe my body was changing yeah. at that, that stage. No, or, or what to do about it, basically. Because yeah. we don't, well, you we didn't don't. give me any advice. No, no. I mean, there are some great doctors out there, there really are, but it's a bit of a lottery system, because if you happen to be in an area where you've got a good doctor, it's great. But, you know, on our Facebook page, there's so many ladies are just so... Disappointed, and they come away more frustrated than before they went in because they've not got the answers to what they want. And you know, a lot of doctors don't don't know basically. I think they have about four or five hours training in menopause in the whole of their medical career. So, and they don't tend to keep up with the latest things. But saying that, that in uh, I think it's June next year, there are new guidelines coming out which doctors have to adhere to oh, really? when treating. So if you go to your doctor with that's, that's menopause, that's definitely worth something. Definitely. Out I mean, that is next year, though, and there's a set guideline that they have to follow. So hopefully, that will help the patient and 
and a doctor, so they can work together. You, know, and you mentioned your Facebook page, and I know mm. you've got a lot of women who regularly yeah. uh, contact you and ask you questions, mm. um, and that's obviously a very important part of, of everything that you're doing. Well, that's actually sort of grown on from the clinic that I was running and, and the advice that I was, I was giving, that the, the Menopause Remedies Facebook page, we've got almost 11,000 ladies on there. So and that's they a lot of them. It's fantastic. They support each other so much. And it's just growing through word of mouth and they put things on there and I've almost allowed them to sort of take it over themselves now and they run it, they ask questions. But sometimes you just need to share your experience, don't you? You just want to know that is it is it me having this meltdown yeah. and everybody else is coping fine? Yeah. Um, and also who who do you talk to? You know, sometimes your friends don't get it, do they? Yeah. Because they're having a very different experience. So just to be yeah. able to talk to someone you can relate to. Absolutely, mm -hmm. unless, unless you're actually going through the mental yourself, you can't it's very difficult to tell anybody about it. But don't you feel, I, I mean, I feel that about being in my 50s because sometimes, you know, you'll speak to one of these beautiful 20-year-old girls mm. who are absolutely lovely, selling cosmetics, mm. and they have no idea what it's like to be 50 no. and how your skin changes, how you change thinking about yourself, how you feel the world perceives you. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, it's a tough call. And, and the, one of the main things that the ladies do say on, on the Facebook page is, thank goodness I'm not alone. You know, when we put mm. lots of posts up about different things, I mean, there are fun posts, there are informative posts, there. we ladies come in there and have a rant, and just to get it out of their system. So what, what's your page actually called? Is it just... It's facebook.com forward slash menopause remedies. Um, and remedies. Yes, thank you. So, so there, you just go on and you just air your grievances or just have a chat, and everybody's so so good at supporting each other because I think that emotional support is also just as important as medical advice sometimes. And like you just said, you know, just knowing you're not on your own yeah. makes a huge difference to how you handle mm -hmm. situations. So either have a look at Jane's page, or if you want to send questions through to Fighting 50, you can send it to the website, you can actually leave a question at the bottom of this video and either Jane or I will get back to you. So there's lots of ways you can get information and help. And what we're going to do is through a series of videos, we're going to talk about the phases of menopause, how it will actually affect you, what to expect, possible length of time. But we'll do those individually, so mm -hmm. anyone who's in the, those phases can can actually click in. And there's also and quite, quite a lot of information to take in all at once. It can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So, Lie so on the sofa, get a cup of tea, absolutely. glass um, of wine, yeah, yeah. put your feet up, have a, have a listen. Yeah. So, um, but we will be doing those, so click on to the, to the channel again and you can see those. So.